There are so many videos being uploaded to YouTube that one of the biggest problems is just keeping attention. So in this video, I'm going to show you a couple different quick methods you can use within DaVinci Resolve 17 to enhance your pocket footage. Check it out. Okay, to be clear, this is really, really simple and easy to do, but it's effective. And one of the better things you can do um, instead of getting overwhelmed by a new editing program is just to take little things that make a big difference. If you have a bunch of edits especially in a row, that just jump, 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 then it's not as smooth or professional. So, of course, a lot of people, what they'll do is when they go from one edit to the next, then you're going to end up zooming in on this a little bit. So that just makes it a little bit better. So if you look, instead of doing that, uh, what DaVinci Resolve has is a really quick uh, fix. You have your edit right there, and then you just clip click on to dynamic zoom. You don't have to do any zooming in or, or anything like that. And so then when you go through, so you may have all the expertise in the world, but one of the biggest problems is when you get online, you have no initial authority and you have no street cred. People are not going to believe you. So what are you going to do? In this video, I'm going to show you one way to establish quick online authority in your niche so you can get started online right away. Check it out. Very simple, but very effective and really fast doesn't add much of anything to it actually subtracts some of your editing time if you add it all together okay so let's say you went and visited a friend and they've got some bees and you took your pocket along and you recorded a bit of them handling the bees and it's pretty cool you got some motion in there you got the bees and make a good intro to your whole setup but it could be better. Maybe, okay, so maybe it's not the best in the world, but it does give some motion, and that motion, each time you introduce a little bit of something, like the title of the motion, then you re, kind of refresh attention rates. So that's the whole idea is to it only takes a little bit of time to do very little actually and you'll achieve a little bit of a result and you can do this over and over again with particular videos so that you get a little more out of your footage and that's the whole idea is to just get a little bit more out of it so um here's how this works okay so i'll show you this other one it's fairly uh, straightforward you just have some coffee being made right who doesn't like coffee and um you know there's not much going on we'll go to where let's say here and over here we'll zoom in okay and create our keyframe okay and then we'll go back over here back to where we were and then what happens is it slowly goes in to here. Now what's cool is, I mean, that's cool enough, right? And you can speed it up, you can slow it down, um, and you can also do the position. So as you can see here, okay, let's say we want our position to be uh, over a little bit, and really we want to be up a bit. So then we do click our keyframe, we go back to here, go back to here, get back to where it was before, oops, and uh, so then you're all uh, done with adding these two things. So all it does is uh, produce a little bit of movement, and uh, then course you can do your usual uh, titles and, uh, attention or just keep attention by not being a static video. 
Now, if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.